Hello and welcome to another video review, this time about the Swarovski thermal imaging devices, the TM35 Plus and TM35.2. In August of 2024, Swarovski introduced two new products to their thermal imaging lineup, which are successors of the TM35 device. Like the TM35, also these two devices are observation and thermal imaging clip-on devices in one. For this review, I only have the TM35 Plus uh, on hands, but from the outside these products are basically the same. Only difference is in the rubber armor armoring. In the TM35.2 the rubber armor is uh, black and not green like you see it on this model here. Uh, compared to the older TM35, there are no uh, differences uh, on the outside, so it is the completely same device. Uh, and even the outside dimensions are also completely the same. So the length of the device is 170 millimeters in length. It is 54 millimeters wide and the height of the device is 80 millimeters. Uh, what is new in these two products are the much better sensors with lower NETDs and also uh, better resolution. Now if I go to the physical properties, first of all, as you can see here, you have a adjustable uh, eyepiece. Uh, it is adjustable in four different positions. Uh, so you can use the device, uh, as I previously said, as a um, observation device, uh, that's why the eyepiece, and you can use it also with glasses. Uh, for uh, comfortable uh, use, you have uh, the eyepiece is uh, rubberized, and it is also very similar in design as we know it from Swarovski uh, traditional binoculars. Then, here, uh, this black ring here can be removed and this is just a protection cover for the M44 by 0.75 millimeters connection thread. So all the standard uh, Swarovski TMA adapters can be used, uh, but also aftermarket ones like from Rusan and SmartClip uh, can also be used uh, to clip on uh, if you want to use the device also as a clip-on device uh, and mount it with this on your daytime optic. On the left and on the right here uh, we have uh, carrying strap uh, attachments. You can see here better like this. On the left side we also have the on and off uh, button and on the top we have uh, the three operation uh, buttons with all of the basic functions we know from the older uh, TM35 device. Uh, first and second device, uh, first and second uh, buttons are for adjusting the brightness settings and the mode button, so the third button here, changes the uh, color palette uh, from black and white to white, uh, I mean uh, black hot or white hot. Uh, by holding the mode button the device switches from the observation mode to the clip-on mode and uh, vice versa. Then here on the front we have the battery compartment and uh, here we have the 35 millimeters objective lens and the plastic flip-up cover uh, which protects your uh, lenses. The same is on the back we also have a uh, protective cover this one is made from rubber and it is really uh, firmly on the eyepiece so you don't have to worry that some dirt uh, can get to your lenses. The entire device is made uh, from some metal, I think magnesium or aluminum. It has an IP68 uh, protection rating, so it is completely dustproof and also waterproof and can even be submerged under one meter of water for at least 30 minutes. Uh, both of these devices uh, can withstand uh, all of the popular 
uh, magnums uh, with, uh, up to 375 uh, Holland Holland and the temperature range uh, which where these devices can operate is from minus 20 degrees Celsius up to plus, plus 50 degrees Celsius the weight of the of both devices is exact is exactly the same 495 grams with the battery included and the startup time of the 35 uh, TM35 plus is approximately 3 seconds and the TM35.2 is even faster with approximately 2.5 seconds. Um, both of the devices uh, featured the Svarolight uh, function which turns off the display when the device is not in use so if, if it's uh, put on the side or if it's uh, uh, looking down or upwards then the display is off to save the battery life. The devices are of course uh, as we know it from Swarovski made in Austria and they come with a three years of warranty. Uh, what is also uh, great about these uh, devices that they are perfectly sighted in in the factory so you don't have you don't need any additional sighting in uh, when you purchase the device you can just uh, screw on the TMA, TMA adapter put it on your rifle scope and you can already already go uh, hunting price so the MSRP of the TM 35.2 is 2850 euros and for this model the TM35 Plus is 3,900 euros. Now for the sensors, both of the devices uh, have a uncooled Vox sensor uh, sensor in it. The TM35.2 has a, a resolution of 320 by 256 pixels with uh, 12 microns. Uh, pixel size and a refresh rate of 60 Hertz. The bigger model, the TM35 Plus, has a resolution of 640 by 512 pixels, also at 12 microns uh, pixel size, and the refresh rate is also 60 Hertz. Now for the battery, the Battery is a uh, RB uh, TM35 type uh, battery, which is rechar rechargeable and also interchangeable uh, with the device, uh, and it has a capacity of 3,000 milliamp hours. Uh, and with this capacity, the TM35 Plus uh, can operate uh, of approximately six and a half hours and the TM35.2 approximately 9 hours which is quite a lot and uh, in most cases you don't need more than one battery uh, uh, during a hunt. There is one battery included with the device uh, but uh, the additional batteries are, uh, batteries are also available and the price of additional batteries is approximately 75 euros. The battery can be very quickly and very uh, easy to change. You just have to push the battery in and uh, lock the battery in place. When taking the battery out, you just uh, turn the lever a bit to the left and put the, the battery out, which is very fast and also not loud, so you don't have to worry about that you uh, that some animals were here which are uh, not far away from you um, now for the display both devices have uh, AMOLED type display with a resolution of 2560 by 2048 pixels and in both devices only two color palettes are available which is black hot and white hot the magnification is uh, one times on the clip-on mode and two times on the monocular mode. Uh, on monocular mode, um, both devices feature also digital magnification, 
On the TM35.2 it's only two times digital magnification and on this model it's four times. So two by four you get eight times of magnification. Um, on the eyepiece itself there is no diopter setting uh, but uh, you can use it uh, with glasses. The lens on the front is 35 millimeters in diameter and the aperture is 1.0. The field of view of the TM35.2 is 10.9 meters by 8.7 meters at 100 meters and on the TM35 Plus it's 21.6 by 17.4 meters at 100 meters. Because of that this device uh, is also perfect for closer range uh, hunting uh, and because of the great resolution of the sensor it is perfectly capable also for longer range uh, hunting. Um, like on the previous model also these two don't have a focusing wheel as we know it now from the TX Encounter. Um, to be uh, and this is designed to be as easy to operate as possible. Um, so when you go hunting you just have to turn the device on and this is basically everything you need to do when you go out hunting. Um, uh, but because of that of course uh, many users don't like it perfectly because you cannot perfectly focus on objects at different distances. But because this device is so easy to operate, it is also perfect for uh, older generation of hunters uh, because, as I said, you don't have to adjust anything when you go out for hunting. Okay, now what do you, got, what do you get uh, in the box? Uh, first of all, we get a really nice uh, carrying uh, bag, then a carrying strap for the bag and also carrying straps for the device itself. Then we have this uh, rubber piece for the ocular, if you want to use it as a um, monocular then you can put it on, it is much more uh, comfortable to use during the day and during the night. Uh, you are more invisible to the environment. Then we have a, a charging uh, adapter uh, for two batteries at once and a charging cable. Then we have this uh, leather piece which you can attach to the carrying strap. And lastly we have a quick guide and also a user's manual in different uh, languages. Okay, now for a short summary. First of all, what do I like about this device? Uh, first of all, the build quality and design. It is very well made and like all Swarovski products, it is aesthetically really well made. Then the battery it's uh, well made, it is very quick and easy to swap and the long operating time is of course a big plus in my opinion. Then the devices are made in Austria so if something goes wrong the service is also in Austria so it is really fast to repair. Uh, the next thing is you have a two-in-one device so you can use it as a clip-on device and as a monocular. And lastly what I like is the ease of use. You have only the most needed options on the device itself which as I previously said is perfect for older users. Now what is uh, sour about this device in my opinion? Uh, first of all there is no diopter setting on the monocular mode so if you don't wear glasses uh, and when you look through the device it can happen that the, the image is not perfectly sharp because maybe you have just a little bit of uh, uh, diopter and for that you don't need glasses but you will notice this on the display. The second thing is that the device has no focusing. Um, even though 
the device is made to be as simple to use as possible, I think focusing should still be uh, on such a device because animals don't come out uh, every time on the same uh, distance from you. Uh, then, uh, lack of software features compared to the competition. Um, yeah, uh, it is good but also not good uh, because sometimes it is not bad if that you can make some changes if you like. And lastly, uh, the price. Uh, the devices are quite expensive, uh, 3,900 euros is expensive, uh, but um, it is still reasonable, let's say, but 2850 for a lower resolution device, it's still quite a lot, in my opinion. Okay, I hope you found this video review useful. If you have any additional questions, click the link below, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.